Hello and welcome to Bus Simulator 21. Yes, I know this is not a new game by any stretch of the imagination, but as I'm part of Amazon Prime and have access to Prime Gaming, this was given away quite recently. And so I thought, what better way to try it than uh, pick it up and use the opportunity to see what the game is like for ourselves. I've seen a couple of videos of it. I know a little bit of the game. Never really been too excited, but I thought, you know what? What better way to judge the game than by playing it myself? So we've created our profile so far. I guess we can give you an, a little look at what our character looks like. So that's our little fella. He can do quite the turn with that neck. Uh, what does our neck do, though? The shoes are a little bit funny, you know, the jeans are, you know, well, listen, we've we've done the basics in terms of editing, right? Try to make him somewhat resemble myself. Yeah, as you can tell, there's not an incredible amount of freedom with the uh, character editing. And I don't expect there to be it's a simulator at the end of the day about driving buses. And so that's where I expect the focus to be. In terms of our company, what did we get for our company? No active company, right, never mind. So I guess we didn't do anything for the company. So yeah, let's start a new game and see what's in store for us. So first things first, we've got a couple of maps to choose from. So it seems like we've only got one unlocked so far, which is Angel Shores. We've also got Seaside Valley and that's about it. And we can unlock that after playing the introduction over here. So can't really read it too well. All right, here we go. In Angel Shores, you can live up the live the American dream, build your empire from one bus up to everybody's first choice of transport. Huh? Right, anyway. Uh, be it the entrepreneurs of Pecunia, the industrialists of Oris Harbour and Timberidge, or families on the way to Arnold Park, everyone must get somewhere. Yes, sir. Uh, remember to be the best bus driver you can be. You should always follow these traffic rules. Most traffic lights are positioned on the opposite side of the junction you are dri opposite side of the junction so i continued reading on uh the next point if you are driving up to a red light you are always allowed to turn right right basic american rules pedestrians always come first so keep an eye out right well that's one i have an issue with even irl but uh <laughs> let me not say too much and get myself in trouble so we've clicked angel shores right so we've got some i guess difficulty settings is how i would describe this so we've got day tripper which is the i guess all the assists and whatnot are on we've got the drive purist which is an authentic experience with some convenience features uh simplified driving restricted to realistic features right so i guess these are just sort of opposite of each other uh, and hardcore which i think i'm going to go for as you can tell with my uh american truck simulator live streams euro truck simulator live streams sim rail and uh, train sim world 4 we kind of are the simulator genre home so i think i'm going to go for hardcore although can i go back here yeah, although i'm assuming this little badge here means that this is the peep what people choose the most i would assume uh but anyway let's go for hardcore company name you know what let's go for lwd transport keep it nice and simple uh for euro truck i had lwd logistics for this i'll have lwd transport uh game of story mode well so we've got, got career mo uh okay i mean okay right so sandbox we kind of already know what it is so story mode let's see play a leading role in the story of your city Evolve your hometown and unlock all the content during a campaign of challenging missions. So there's missions, content unlockable, and limited money. Now with career, uh, we build the most prosperous bus company of all times with nothing but a bit of money, all content and skills. You get access to all the vehicles, stops, and customizations unlocked with limited money. You know what? Let's do career mode. I do like I do like a, a career-driven story. So sorry. <laughs> I do like a story-driven game. So let's do that and accept. So yep, story. Our company name's there. LW Transport. Fantastic. Uh, start with the tutorial. It's not like I had the option not to, to be honest. Uh, and you can further customize your settings during the game. No problem. So let's see what exactly this game has in store. And compare it to games like, I guess, The Bus, which I've played recently. I haven't touched Omzi in a while. Uh, Welcome back, everybody. Oh, hello. What a fantastic morning. Now, don't touch that radio. I have some great news to announce. Today, a new company will take over public transport. Soon, we will see buses roaming our city day and night. This will make it easier to take in all the beauty Angel Shores has to offer. Are you looking for the best food in town? Check out the fantastic restaurants in Oakwood. In the evening, you can head over to West Oakwood and enjoy some sprawling nightlife. That's what I call an Oakwood double combi night. Food and party. Want to spend a nice day out in nature? 
just head over to Gold Island for a hike or have a relaxed day at Silver Park. It's the perfect spot to grab a good book and enjoy the silence. For a family day trip, head over to Arnold Park. There are rumors about sea lions living in the waterfront. I've got to see that for myself. Also, if you're into seafood, you won't be disappointed. Talking about the sea, not a single cloud to be had in the coming weeks. So don't forget to check out the amazing beach of Sea View. Or if you'd rather spend the hot days on a shopping trip, head over to Pecunia and experience the impressive skyscrapers of the downtown area. These and many more wonderful places wait to be discovered. And thanks to the new transportation company, it'll be easier than ever to visit them. I'm definitely excited to take the bus home today, but enough talk for now. Let's get to it. Wow. I... Not sure why I expected. Hi there. Oh, Over hello. Here. Okay. Right, as I was saying, uh, not sure why I expected, but I'll be very, very honest with you. I can promise you it wasn't that. So, yeah, clearly we're bringing some much needed life to. Oh my god, look at that speed. So much effort. <laughs> yes, yeah, so he's not really going anywhere. Um, and then it's so, yeah, it seems like we're going to bring a new lease of life with the transport into this city, into Angel Shores. So I guess we can have a little company here. We're heading over to Myra. I cannot get over this run. Anyway, <laughs> let me stick to what this game is about driving buses. Hello, Hi, Myra. I'm Mira. It's so nice Mira. to meet you. I'm here to help you set up your transport business. I'm really excited to get started on this project. All right, first things first. As a bus company, we need a bus. And the great thing is, you get to choose it. Take a look at these three buses. All right, then. What do we have? So we've got a Mercedes-Benz Citaro. Lovely looking bus. I love the modernness of it. Driven plenty of it's these over in the bus. It's a tough decision, isn't it? Just take your time. Thank you. I've literally just stopped talking to you. Uh, we've got a, man's, a Man Lions City. Very, very popular truck across Europe. Uh, truck. Uh, very popular bus. Jesus Christ. Uh, across Europe. And a Cetra, Cetra S416 LE business. And you know what? I'm going to take the Cetra because I've driven plenty of man, plenty of Mercedes. Barely driven any Cetra. So. Oh, great choice. Ma'am, what if I just wanted to look inside? Damn. And Ooh, now for the best part. Take your seat at the wheel. Oh, well, let me have a little look at my bus first, darling. Jesus. Right, so... Got a decent seating plan. I mean, this, the seats do not look comfortable. I'll be very honest. Those backrests are not comfortable. Pretty long, though. I guess LE stands for what? Something extended? Long extended? Got some bluish lights there. And some more just generic white lights there. Right. Oh, hello. Okay. What's that external camera about oh, the top right? The feeling of a brand new bus. She does look like the type to get excited over that. Right, activate the cockpit zoom with right click. Okay. While well, being zoomed. Oh my lord. Okay. All settled and ready? Jesus. Then start the engine. Wow. Okay, well, I'm. Um, okay. Doesn't that engine sound wonderful? I just love the sound. Don't forget to switch on the lights. You know what? It's quite a nice, uh, it's quite a nice looking bus. Depending on your preference, you can drive buses, please. How are we going to drive a game called Bus Simulator? Just drive shift in, the uh, gear into drive and we're ready to roll. Right, could we not uh, close the doors, though? Maybe first take a minute to get accustomed to the bus. Just drive around the building until you feel at ease. Right, I think, let me, yeah. Whoops, not that one. Oh, no, they actually did want me to do that. That's hilarious. Right, so... Right, so here we go. We go. Now we're moving. Right, so what's this about? Are they expecting us to go in here? I thought we were just meant to drive around for a bit. I mean, I guess let's let's do a little lap around the uh, around the, the garage or whatever this is, and then we'll see if we can head out. I'm not going to attempt that right now. So you want this model, right? Great. Let's just complete the purchase. This bus marks the beginning of Angel Shore's new public transport system. Let's go. Time for our maiden voyage. The GPS will show you the way to the first stop. Thank you, ma'am. Right. Right, so off we go on our first voyage. Thank you very much, sir. Now, I'm, I couldn't find a way to change the FOV, so we're kind of stuck with this... Um, 
very quite zoomed in view for my liking but i guess we'll uh we'll, we'll, we'll take it for now if i need to use the mirrors i'll just look left or right manually so i doubt we're going to any uh stops right now we're just heading to your uh, first stop and i'm assuming that we are going to learn how to use the uh the onboard computer as well and i guess for fun we can compare it to what like something like the bus has compare in terms of realism so far the graphics are a little i mean i know this game came out a while ago but i would still accept the graphics to be a little bit better than what we've got here but nonetheless the game's running pretty smoothly i'm oh, using a the first uh, stop is coming up already you see the markings they show you the perfect parking position oh and remember to use the indicator she doesn't know how to interrupt me doesn't she why are they all waving at me it's not that you know my first name passengers now you can open the doors. Welcome That's everyone to our maiden voyage. This is so great. I've never taken part in a maiden wow. voyage. See, our passengers are almost as excited as I am. They really Make are. Make sure all passengers have boarded the bus. Close the doors and we're good to go. Better indicate that you're leaving the stop now. To be honest, I'm pretty surprised that... You know that... how to handle stops. Oh god. Now our schedule comes into play. A timer shows you the remaining time to the next stop. As a reliable transit company, we better be on time. Stop. Right. As I was saying, I'm using a Thrustmaster T300 uh, RSGT. Uh, usually used for something a lot more exciting <laughs> than driving a bus. But you know what? Uh, it's handling pretty fine. I'm having a good job. I wish I could feel some. I wish I could feel like these tracks, for example. I wish there was a little bit more force feedback. But you know what? So far. Uh, it's good enough. I wish the camera would auto look at towards where I'm turning. A feature that you tend to see on quite a lot of other games. And I've hit a pothole apparently. And I got red exclamation mark. So I'm assuming that that's uh, no bueno. Although that's sort of the city's problem, not mine. Uh, so hey, I take no responsibility for driving over potholes. And I could barely tell there were potholes anyway, realistically. Anyway. We're back at our second Whoa, stop. There are a lot of passengers Hello. with us on our very that first trip. That child is very there are excited. more people than I invited. Seems like work got around. Isn't that great? So at our second stop, passengers are still waving. Oh, so they wanted to get off. Right. So I guess I should have opened the back door as well, which we've just done. Uh, I'm not sure why they're waving ever oh, so frantically. Seems there's a passenger blocking the doors. Better ask him go. to step inside. Handbrake on. Let's investigate what's going on here. Who's this then? Darling, come on now. It's ridiculous really, isn't it? You know, while, while, while we're at it, show me your ticket. Wow, what a shot. You should be ashamed of yourself. Absolutely ashamed of yourself. Right, let's get the doors closed. When I first came here, I didn't know about the right on red rule. Just so you know, you can turn right at junctions, even if the traffic light is red. Some states have allowed this for over 50 years now. Isn't that fascinating? To be fair, being from the UK, that does seem insane. That you can uh, just go ahead at a red light. Although, it makes perfect sense. And I wonder how much traffic the US has avoided by having such a rule in place. Anyway, on to our third bus stop. Plenty of people crossing the road. I asked a friend in a wheelchair to come along. Well, that way, be interesting. we can try out the ramp. All right, that's pretty good. I guess I should have expected that, although I didn't. I also feel like the gearbox on this bus is pretty strange. But let's see what this uh, wheelchair Just extend user has the ramp for us. so Ash can board. Right, so where's the... Uh, right, extend the parking brake. There we go. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Extend the ramp. Oh, that's a hold it. Right, so I have to hold it until it's completely extended. And then open the doors. You know what? That camera little that little camera view on the top right is very, very helpful. Wait for our very excited passengers uh, to hop off. So excited that they only stayed on for one stop. That's how excited Hi, they Mira. were. Nice bus you got here. Hi Ash, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Having a public transport system in our city will make getting around a whole lot easier for me. That's great to hear. Enjoy the ride. Look at that. Helping out a community in every way we can. Brilliant stuff. Right. Indicate left. I actually Let's moved here for this project. 
Audrey and I are really liking it here, especially the beach promenade. So I wonder where else we're going to have to look for. So we've got passengers that can just sprint across the roads. Like so. So I wonder if we're going to have to deal with problematic passengers. I mean, we just had someone blocking the door, which uh, she paid a hefty fine for realistically because she just attracted attention to herself and ended up with a, uh, was that euros? 120 euro fine. So uh, shame on her. I wonder if we're gonna have like drunk passengers and passengers that will re that will refuse to um, leave the train. Now, honestly, I don't know exactly what they expect me to do about these potholes because There's they're just on the road. There's one last thing As a bus driver, you'll also be selling the tickets. Let's give it a try at the next stop. Right now, I'm starting to feel the uh, the force feedback kicking in a little bit over those potholes. You really feel the force feedback. Right. So let's see how uh, this ticket machine will be used. I mean, they're all—they're literally all going in from the back. That was not the plan. I'd like to buy a ticket, please. Hey, Jackie, how are you? Hi, Mira. I'm great. Uh, Thanks for inviting me today. The, okay, right. Let me not ask any questions. It's 2024 after all. So we've got requested a regular ticket. A regular ticket. Okay. Regular Maybe ticket, day ticket, and uh, one. And you're helping us take our first steps. Thank you. And... Right, so there's the doors then. So, everything's going to plan. The next stop is already the last one. That's not what you want to hear, really. Everything's going to plan. That's one of, one of the five phrases you will hear before disaster strikes. Let's hope that doesn't happen. And honestly, I'm really not sure what they sent me to do about these potholes because they're kind of just there. Go ahead, mate. Go ahead. Are they just going to refuse to cross? Well, you're lost, mate. I guess better safe than sorry. Look at all these tram tracks. Jesus Christ. What's the point of having a bus company if there's all these trams about? All right. That's the last stop for today. Thank you all for riding with us. Hope to see you again soon. Ash will need the ramp again to get off the bus. Oh, of course he does. Oh, of course he does. Let's get that door closed then. Right, parking brake on first. Of course, how silly of me. There Thank he you. goes. Bye. Bye, Ash. See you later, that was Ash, an mate. Amazing maiden Lovely voyage. seeing you. Now, with all the passengers off, the official part of the maiden voyage is done. You really did great. Just deliver the bus to the depot. That's where it's stored. You can also get yourself a coffee there, too. A coffee as well. Spoiling me there, Mira. Right. Honestly, I really wish there was a reset view button. I'm, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. But this game doesn't necessarily make things easy to find. And what I was saying about the gearbox earlier, there's just that revving. That seems a little bit excessive for an automatic gearbox. As we depart from either a red light or a, uh, or a stop. Nothing too major, but it does... Uh, you do hear it. it does cause a bit of noise right what have we got here this looks a little crazy on the map i wonder if this is some sort of test force oh it's a bus uh, bus garage of some sort or a bus station or a terminus i really wish i could feel these uh tram tracks as we went over them i probably get sick of them really quickly but hey at least we have we'd have some feedback on what's going on on the road The bus itself does seem fairly nice to drive, other than that whole gearbox issue uh, when departing from a stop. It does feel really, really nice to drive. I just cannot get over how weird it feels going over all of that and not feeling a single thing, a single bump. But you get a ton from the potholes, I tell you what. Definitely makes up for it. Oh my lord, it really grabs the wheel, Jesus Christ. Drive slowly to one of the doors. Probably should indicate here. Thank you very much. Might as well take this uh, door on the right, number four. See, the force feedback can be good. I'm just not sure what's going on with the uh, the tram tracks. 
there's a yellow thing over there. Is that where they want me to go? She didn't say just go into now, through one of the doors. The bus. There we go. And we're done. Great. Thank you, Mira. You've been no lovely passenger, ain't ya? Put it in neutral. Uh, what about with the lights? Eight, nine, and zero, I believe. There we go. There we go. And for some reason, I just completely spun my steering wheel. Uh, but not a problem. Open the front door. There we my go. team and I will help you establish an awesome transport network to connect the whole city of Angel Shores. Nice Excuse bus. Me? Sorry, I haven't introduced myself. Okay. I'm Steve, head of your bus depots. Once they're parked, me and my team take good care of your buses. You can leave I the parking trust to the way Steve. You that. that was a good first day. Very See fun. you tomorrow. Oh, well, that's it, I guess. Good morning. Ready for our next adventure? <laughs> I've already prepared our first official route. The residents of Angel Shores are eager to see our new bus. You can take over any time you want. Okay. So am I bound to a timetable? Or... Hey, 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 get off my bus, mate. Is that Steve, then? Just board the bus, speak to the driver, and take over the steering wheel. Uh... Hmm. Hi, boss. Would you like to take over? What if I didn't want to take over? How about I just sat here? That's nice Aaron's mirror. Nothing? No? Uh, very well. I guess uh, I'll take over by force, ah, my friend. Ah, that's great. Taking over buses uh, is surely one of the perks of owning a transit company. This route connects the two districts, Highlander Park and St. Anthony. Let's drive the route. And don't forget what you learned yesterday. Try to be punctual, and like my grandma always said, safety first. Mind the pedestrians, and keep a close eye on the traffic. All right, finally. She does talk a lot, doesn't she? Bless her, Mira. Sh uh, kneeling. Are we kneeling? How does stop us kneeling? There you go. I mean, it says don't forget about shifting, but we're already in drive. So I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to have to shift. Right, this is our first bus stop. There we go. Hi. Hello. Right, it does say we're in neutral for some what reason. What a though. beautiful day. Very strange. Anyway. Alright, what have you got here, Mr. Sir? A regular ticket. There you go. You want a weak ticket. There you go, mate. No. Uh, My phone battery drained again. Right, I was able to pick it in the oh, end. I couldn't press it for some reason. For waking me up. We got another one, a regular day ticket. There you go. Have a lovely trip. What else have we got there? Nothing. In that case, let's get the doors closed. Let's get moving again. On to our next stop. I don't think kneeling is. Uh, I assume we could get extra points. Come on, mate, easy there now. I guess we could get extra points, but uh, I'm not fast. It's just extra work at the end of the day, really, isn't it? So I like the fact that the city is very alive. I'm assuming it's not based on a real city. I guess maybe it's taking inspiration from towns and cities and different states here and there. But ultimately, it definitely does look like a, a work of fiction. Uh, we're making a left over here. Again, I really wish we had that auto... Uh, auto look as we uh, turn the steering wheel but no harm we can do it we can do that manually we'll take care of that manually right into our only bus there we go some exclusive exclusivity right so we do have a wheelchair user here so as we pull up uh let's get the front door open and then i'm going to extend the ramp after we hit the parking brake of course definitely remembered that of my own accord bye bye get these get the door open I really don't like I the fact they escape from the uh, the front the front door. It does look very scatty and ghetto, but uh, as long as they're uh, as long as they're legit, we don't mind too tough. Right, any other I'd ticket? Like to buy a ticket, please. Yes, of course. So there you go, regular ticket, one trip ticket. Print that out. So tired. Uh, okay. Coffee. If you guys have played Simpsons uh, Hit and Run game, that sounds very, 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 very familiar. 
to one of the characters. I don't remember exactly who it was. But one of the characters says exactly that. Now, did our wheelchair friendly, uh, our wheelchair user here buy, uh, buy a ticket? Keep an eye on him. Right, let's get moving then. Now, the roads do get very, very tight here. We'll try not to cause an incident. Fortunately, oh, we've got a massive uh, pothole. A passenger needs to get off. Thank you very much. They will have to wait until we reach a, uh, a bus stop, I'm afraid. This is St. No Hail and Red. Do things the legit way here. What number is this? Bus stop four, I think. Bus stop number four. Driving routes rewards ex rewards experience points to use certain paydays. Interesting, interesting. Right, surely rather than just have that bar at the top of the uh, top of the screen telling me a passenger needs to get off, surely you could just do that little uh, bus stop logo. There we go. I went hiking on Gold Island. Ignored passenger that forgot to get off. Hello? That's not my problem. So I don't know about America, right? But in the, in the UK, bus drivers are not allowed to open the doors for passengers to get off the bus unless they're at bus stops. So how I've been struck off with that, I do not know. I have absolutely no clue. All right, come on then. Uh, the last course. transport company was shut down by the city's local government because so it much didn't adapt to the time. changing needs of the public. So but much I'm very confident that we'll build a better transport network for the city and regain their trust. That's why right. all the old bus stops are still Seen found around the city. All it's right, Mira. All some right. Need all a fresh right. coat of paint, okay, now, darling, but right they'll now. do just fine for now. Anyone else want to take it? Catastrophic puns are always perfect to me. Oh my god, am I gonna regret playing this game? Have you got what's what's got what's the situation here then? Hold Darn it, I forgot to lock the front door. We've got a blockage here. Does this bus drive to San Pablo and Andrade? I don't have a clue. Literally do not have a clue. No. What's this? Jetty Drive, Match Middle School. We've got Siege of Square, Lake Anza, and then do we go anywhere else? I guess we come back around. I love to roam around the planetarium. You can see the harbor. Oh, we do. There. All right, then we do indeed. Yes. Right. Finally, right. I don't know what the issue with the uh, back door was because we couldn't get that closed for a while. Oh, all right. Finally, I guess this is going to affect our schedule. Hopefully, uh, not by much. Can barely see the uh, the mirror there, but we'll assume that nobody's there. We've uh, been lucky so far. Finally, we've got a smelly bus. Great, lovely to hear that. That's that that passive like that sly, you know. Hey, your bus stinks, but I'm not gonna say anything to you. So just make the snide little remarks. But you know what? Not a problem, mate. Not a problem. It's our first day, right? So we've got to be uh, got to be all joyful and cheery. I'll never get to my. They really want me to nil. Where's the nil button? Close all bus stops, talk with kneeling. You know, I cannot be bothered. Okay. Hi, a ticket, please. A ticket. Let's get you a ticket. And darling, what do you want? Regular ticket. One, what? Well, one trip. Ticket. Rent. Thank you very much. Thank you for waking lately. me up. Tram huh? seats are so comfy. What was that? What's the key band for kneeling, by the way? So I don't have to, uh... Where is it? Uh, V. All right, we'll try to remember that. I'm trying to do things with key bands as much as possible. You know what I will say? I am grateful that they're talking English because in OMSI, in the, in the bus, you'll hear the passengers talk, but because they're German games, I won't have a clue what they're saying. So, hey, at least there's that, right? Yeah, you're going to have to wait, darling. Uh, look left, look right, lovely jubbly. All right, see you now, old man. All right, mate. Nobody wants to hear that. Take a little left over here. I would like to see a bit more traffic, I guess. The roads do seem quite empty. I found you listening to really loud music. Right. Oh, hello. This is not great. That's a hell of a stop, really, isn't it? But at least we stops, I guess. Uh, Neil. There we go. Seen better parking. Wow. Way better. Wow. What? So, hello? Uh, hello? Is that your business? You, you, your business should be that I get you from A to B. 
I get that. Get the hell off my bus, darling. What are you talking about? Well, that's what we wanted to do. Uh oh, hello. Right, parking brake one. I keep forgetting to put the parking brake one. Uh alright, press the wrong button. No worries. I don't know what I, I don't know what I was doing just then. But it wasn't what I was meant to do. Right. So quite far away from the curb, but I'm sure the uh, the wheelchair user won't have an issue there. Look at that lovely, absolutely lovely job. Couldn't even tell I was parked like an absolute wanker. Right, get the uh, get the ramp up. Uh, indicator on, and I think we're good to go. Right, and then kneeling off course. Um. Aha, uh -huh. so I assume that was what I was changing when I was pressing the uh, the wrong button. There we go. Uh, why is she walking like that? Alright, anyway. Uh, sorry lad. You can wait there mate. Why is my camera changed? Lovely. I really like the fact that we have a little GPS there. Thank you very much, mate. That fellow was incredibly impatient. You can take over the right lane here. Oh, let's swap over to the left lane. Luckily, uh, that car is nowhere to be seen. Right, we do have a stop. Wait for the uh, the old. Oh, oh my God! A little impatient there. Onwards we go. Using indicator while driving straight. Uh, right, <laughs> right, because that was definitely uh, well, that was a left actually. Haha. <laughs> uh, no, I don't, I don't know why that was uh, that was a uh, message that came up. Oh. There we go, last stop, right? So I guess we got to get the uh, the ramp open. Look at that. Remember this? Oh fucking! Oh, I remembered the handbrake though. Uh, right, there you go. Put the ramp. Uh, All right, I gotta hold it. So of course. A passenger forgot a valuable item. Look for it in the bus and return it. Well, get off the bus first. Uh, so do, do we do oh, all that now? Oh, look at that. It's our first payday already. Or will you get already. to the depot? The city will keep rewarding us regularly. So long as we continue driving the routes and providing our passengers a great service. Right, I've so let's put it... Of how to oh, spend God. Our oh, first Mary. Paycheck. Park much, the though. bus and follow That's me. Bro, I have a little surprise about. for you. Whoa! Listen, what did it want me to do my potholes? What on earth can I do my potholes? That's down to the sea. That's not down to me. I do not listen. I am not taking responsibility for my potholes, man. Come on now. Come on now. Right. Let's try and look for this uh, valuable item. Hold on, Mira. You got to be patient, love. You got to be patient. Apparently, you got nothing better to do anyway. Right. Where, so where's this valuable item then that's apparently been left behind? You were not able to find the valuable. It's probably just lost then. Okay. Uh, you know what? Pretty accurate. So probably what's happened in real life. I barely got through half the bus before my guy thought, you know what? It is, it's just not here. Can't be asked. Let's go. Right. Anyway. Uh, I believe our, is our door closed? No, it's not closed. So door closed. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. One sweep, right? Ramp up. Take off the nail. Take off the handbrake and let's get moving. Beautiful. Uh, it wants us to park over there. Okay. Uh, this doesn't look safe, but uh, I mean, let's just go, I guess. No? Isn't that what they want me to do? Ah. You want me to come here? Uh, and then do what? Mirror! Oh, it literally says right there, select a vehicle for a test drive. Okay, well, let me, I, want, I want to select my UK bus. Yeah. No? Not even for a test drive? Damn. All right, well, we'll let's we'll take a uh, Mercedes then. It's a Taro. I don't even know if that was what I was meant to do, you know. What happens to my bus, by the way? All right, let's see what's in store for us here. How do you like this bus? If you change your mind, you can choose another one at the terminal. If you're ready to go, drive to the exit to buy this model. 
What happened to my boss, by the way? Oh, he's been taken over. Nice. I like that. Well, you know what? Why not? Let's buy it then. I don't know. I thought that was pretty much forced upon me. Um, But anyway. Right, so it turns out that uh, everything was in order. It's just that uh, I wasn't told to turn the, uh, the bus on. Simple as that. You know, a common mistake. Every now and again you forget to... Uh, you know, turn the engine on, or turn the engine on of the vehicle that you're uh, driving. It does happen. Damn, hundred grand. Well, listen, we we got it like that for now. Good choice. What a great bus this is. Let's drive to the paint shop next. Our colleague Ted is waiting for us there. All right, let's go and see what Ted's saying. Yes, Ted. Let's go. Oh my lord, what was that? Nothing, uh, nothing, that was nothing. Let's just go, away. Eh? Right, my foot is completely down, by the way, and uh, we're not really going anywhere. Now, I know this ain't no racing car, I know, but, um, uh, expect a little bit more, you know? I have just paid a hundred grand for this bad boy at the end of the day, so you can't blame me, really, can you? Right, who am I giving away to? Nobody? Lovely, let's go. Uh, easy mate, easy mate. You almost be giving away to me now. Couple of nice cars in that driveway. Oh, the GTR's there. I'm not sure what that message was about. Well, I know is I'm continuing here. Hopefully, no one's crossing the roads. That guy just pulled out on a mad one. Spin it around here. Whoa, hello, it's tight. Not expect that to be that tight. Jesus Christ. Wow. Uh, okay. That wasn't part of the plan. Thank you very much. No key was meant to give way to him, but you know, all's fair. Right, a lot going on here. Give way to you, mate. Nope, thank you very much. We'll give way to me instead. It's giving Euro Truck vibes where the AI will just give you way every single time they're not meant to give you way. Oh, almost might hit that pavement. For how much they do you for, i.e., the potholes that are not your fault. Um, they are very lenient in other areas. So I guess it makes up for it. I'm not sure what the speed limit is as well. I'm not sure why we're driving in kilometers an hour when we're in uh, the US as well. Fortunately, from all my experience with uh, all the German sims, I'm very uh, used to using kilometers though. Right, so is this Ted then? It's this Ted. Uh, I no, want you to meet somebody. This is Ted Kane. He's the spokesperson for economic development here in Angel Shores. I'm very glad to meet you. It's good Thank to you. see the city has a public transport system again. Seems like a proper transit company to me. Let's get it looking like one too. Right, it's time to put some branding on our buses. Don't worry, the paint shop has got you covered. Okay, uh, my look. Primary color. Oh, well, I mean, why? You can't limit me to four colours. Jesus. Let's get some blue there. I guess let's get this greenish colour there. Apply the changes. Uh, yeah. Let's only do it to this vehicle. With that new mission on the agenda... I'm going to leave it here for part one as we continue to get instructions because the game thinks that we are, we've just gotten bored of it, so it's given us more to do. But I'm going to leave it here for part one. Let me know what you guys think of Boss Simulator 21. Again, I know it's a game that's been out for ages, but I'm just getting my feet wet with it. So, uh, yeah, I'm personally looking forward to what's, what more in store it has for us. But for now, I'm going to leave it here. If you've liked what you've seen, please remember to like and subscribe. Part 2 will be coming very, very soon. And I will see you guys very, very shortly. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. Look after each other. Stay safe. And peace.